All right, so here is one thing I would change in every character in Unmatched. Now, there are many things you could change, different avenues you could take, and plenty of ideas out there, but these are just some ideas that I have, uh, some quick fixes for every character. Starting off with number one, King Arthur. When, um, when you use a card to boost with, and it gets fainted, that card would instead go on the top of his deck or in your hand, and that would be your choice as the King Arthur player. Number two, Medusa. Her discard power is decreased a little bit. So she'd need, uh, it, if you ever <laughs> play against Medusa, you know, man, I'm discarding so many cards. And she has uh, a few different cards that do that. So I just take one of those effects out and make a more simple effect. Um, uh, for that uh, that particular card, whichever one you would choose for that. And then Sinbad, nothing. I think he's fine as he is. Alice, um, number four Alice. The boost value for her looking glass is three instead. Now it's a four currently, and the reason I don't like that is because you're relying on that to heal, so you want to keep it in your hand. But if you're playing against someone like Sherlock, which I always keep in mind when I'm even creating decks, playing against somebody like Sherlock, he will be able to discard your hand or discard that card um, because you're trying to hold on to it eventually and that's four damage to Alice so that's what I would change the boost value and then number five is Bruce Lee nothing number six is Bigfoot and there's a lot of things you could have done here but I chose um, that he would have less any cards in his deck. So Jackalope gets to use a lot of cards that I think Bigfoot should only be able to use. So um, he would get rid of that uh, issue, I think. Number seven is Robin Hood. Um, I changed the steal from the rich effect. I'm not quite sure what I would do, but he doesn't really need um, need that card usually. Uh, there are instances where it's useful. But most, more often than not, uh, he doesn't need that uh, to use Steal from the Rich uh, as an effect. Number eight, Muldoon. <clears throat> One thing I would change is I would um, take his move value from a three to a two. He doesn't need that, especially because he's a, hi a hiding, camping character. And then Raptors, I wouldn't change anything. I think they're fine as well. Uh, number ten, Dracula. Beast form, boost value to a three instead of a four just for the same reason of Alice and then um, uh, he's also never really using it to boost in with uh, he has a scheme that he could use to boost in with or um, he could just use the misform so he doesn't really need it <clears throat> number 11 is invisible man his ability um, I think I just change his ability all <laughs> all around I know that's quite a bit in an overhaul but um, I think his ability is better suited for a teleporting character, and it doesn't really make sense with an invisible character. Not quite sure what I would do. Uh, maybe leave a comment below what you might do for Invisible Man instead of teleporting around, but uh, something to do more with invisibility. Number 12, Jekyll and Hyde. I'd give his move value, I'd make his move value a 3 instead of a 2. <clears throat> and. Uh, he just struggles getting around sometimes as a solo fighter and building up his hand, trying to uh, pull off certain things in his deck is difficult. And he's already taken a damage to move two when he's hide. <laughs> so why not move three? And then we got Sherlock Holmes. Uh, there are so many cards I'd like to change in his deck, honestly. But one I would change is to do strategy and make it a value one instead. Number 14 is Willow. I'd change the whole love and loss uh, effect, and I'd make it some type of recursion effect back into the deck, because she tends to deck herself out with her ability. <clears throat> and then Spike, I'd do more shadow movement, um, maybe get rid of Skirmish and have a card that uh, moves the shadows around instead. And then Buffy, I'd make her boost values a little bit lower. She seems to have a lot of high boost values, and it's unnecessary for a move three character. <coughs> Angel, um, I'd make the Scourge of Europe a value six instead of a five. <coughs> Number 18 is Beowulf. 
Golden Drinking Horn, I'd make it a move four uh, as one of the effects on there. Uh, from a move four, I mean, on, to a move five instead. And it gains an action. And the reason for that is because even if you do that, say you're spending um, one rage to move five and gain an action, I mean, you're, you're not coming in with a huge attack um, well, it still could be big, but it's not its not going to be um, like the War King, uh, full-on War King, or uh, Ancient Heirloom. So I think uh, that'd be nice for him. <clears throat> and then Little Red, nothing. I think she's fine. And Achilles, nothing. I think he's fine. Bloody Mary, I'd change Ghostly Touch. Um, and I'd make it so it can't be fainted. And it's a value 2 instead of a 1. Sun Wukong, again, another character I changed uh, quite a bit. But I would change it so that clones cannot use 72 transformations. So if he wants to get those recursions of, of certain cards, he has to come out of his little hiding place to do it, whether to defend with the 72 or attack with the 72. And then Yenenga, um, I'd change your stallion charge and make it only move four instead what's funny is actually during play testing way back before the set was even announced i was play testing it and i suggested that and i still stand by that i think it should be a move four and then number 24 deadpool i'd change the eat me card uh, and it makes you have to actually eat a cupcake number 25 bullseye uh, I wouldn't change anything. I, I really thought about him probably the longest out of all these. Um, but honestly, uh, you could change minor things, but I think he's uh, fine where he's at. Number 26, Daredevil. Um, I do not like playing against him. But number 26, Daredevil. Uh, I'd make all the cards in Braille. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd make it so he only had one faint, and I'd give him two regroups instead. Number 27, Electra. Uh, I'd make it so she only got two sidekicks. This would uh, help out with getting in and killing her because uh, that's a problem. She's got kind of the Wukong problem going on there. Uh, and she's able to, uh, especially with her, her second life, I mean, that's just a, a big issue if you can't get in uh, for a long time. And then Moon Knight, nothing. I think he's fine. Again, I thought long and hard about it, but... Uh, overall, I really wouldn't change anything. Luke Cage, um, <clears throat> I'd make it so he only had two trash talks. Now, I don't know what you'd replace the other one with, but he can already recursion stuff, so why give him a, another trash talk? Why give him three? That's insane. All right, and then Ghost Rider, nothing. Uh, the thing that I would change, they already changed, so that's not a problem. <laughs> and then Sattler's number 31. Um I'd make it so there wouldn't be so many one-off cards. I have this feeling that they they have these different cards, uh, so many um, so many different cards, because they needed they wanted to give like movie quotes and names, so they um, um, did a bunch of these different cards uh, that are just movie quotes <laughs> to fit into the deck, which is neat, but it doesn't help the deck out really. It makes it inconsistent and uh, not as fun. Number 32, T-Rex. I'd lower the health to 25 because there are so many games where it's so close um, and, and she's dying out but not quite dead. And you just feel like you've put forth so much effort attacking her, running away, trying to get her exhausted, and she's still not quite exhausted. So 25 instead of 27. Houdini, nothing. I wouldn't change anything. I thought about it, but mm, I think he's pretty fun and fine where he's at. Genie, um, I'd make his faint boost value a value of two. Pretty simple change. Number 35, Miss Marvel. There's a lot I would probably change. I'd probably try to make her stronger uh, with some attacks, but um, she doesn't have that great a defense, so Slingshot uh, would be a value four instead. Squirrel Girl, uh, again, uh, kind of a weak character, but I'd make Kick Butts um, unfaintable. So you can't faint kick butts. So she'll be able to get that off if um, if you're not playing your cards right. Cloak and Dagger. Uh, traverse the Dark Force. I'd make it value three instead. Because, again, they don't have very good defense. Black Widow. 
I wouldn't change anything. You know, I don't really know her that well. I would change her ability because she needs, she doesn't really have an ability. It's just more like a description of what her deck is doing. And I'd rather she had an ability that maybe every time she played a mission, something happened, but I couldn't quite think of exactly what to do. Black Panther, he's very annoying to fight against. Um... So what I would change is when the opponent's cards are boosted, they go back on the top of their deck. So if he ever uses a Vibranium Suit boost of your card, you can um, he has to put it back on top of your deck. Or shuffle into your deck, whichever, I don't care. And then number 40, Winter Soldier, I wouldn't change anything. Um, I prefer his, his uh, effect, his ability effect was not the same as Sherlock's. I think that's kind of lame. But maybe Sherlock is the actual problem in that Winter Soldier here. <laughs> and uh, number 41, Spider-Man. Man, he just seems like he should be so good, but he's not. Um, I'd change Wall Crawl. I'd make it a value of four instead. A little bit higher defense. Um, he could also use some more attack or something. Maybe uh, a ranged attack on one of his cards would be nice. And then uh, She-Hulk, I'd do uh, Leap Towards. The boost value is a 2 instead. It seems like every time I want to use her ability, I'm like, it's really not worth it. I'd rather have this card in my hand than throw it out for 1 damage. And number 43, Doctor Strange. Um, I wouldn't change anything. That might be debatable by some, but I don't think he needs anything changed. He's a little complicated, but that's fine. Number 44, Jill Trent. I played her quite a bit, so what I would say is Energizing Spray. Uh, it's a Jill-only card, uh, so I would um, I'd change it to where Helpful Assistant can recursion that by making it a Jill-only card. Because uh, currently it's an any card and she can't recursion it. But it'd be nice if you can get some extra attack in. Number 45, Nikola Tesla. Nothing. Annie Christmas. Nothing. They're both in good places. And then number 47, Golden Bat. Um, I'd only do two copies of Alpine Fortress. I don't know what you would do for the other card. Uh, but... Uh, maybe maybe the uh, punch that strikes the earth, you could do another copy of that or something. But having three copies of Alpine is kind of crazy in the deck. Anyway, um, I'm sure you disagree with a lot of these. You might agree with some of these. But overall, what do you think and what would you change? And are there any changes of mine that you uh, enjoyed or think would be a good change for the game? That's it.